one thing I did I enjoyed most, I want to do right now. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee, home of the greatest entertainer in the world, Elvis Presley. Yeah. So that was my friend Bill Morris, the former mayor and sheriff of Shelby County and Elvis's friend, giving the intro that you just heard. What a great intro, right? You're awesome, Mr. Morris. Hey, you ready for this episode? He's going to share a lot of stories of his friendship with Elvis during Elvis Week 2021 in Memphis, Tennessee. Get your popcorn ready. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. And then, in 1978, he became mayor of Shelby County, and he was mayor from 1978 to 1994. Do you know how long that is in politics? <laughs> in one place, and when you hear him speak, you'll understand how he was able to govern the, the Shelby County and the Memphis area, and how he was able to be sheriff, and how he was immediately felt a kinship with Elvis Presley. Mayor Bill Morris. Good to see you, oh, I thank you. They're all back there watching the TV and they're going, who's going to be the next victim? You've, now they've called you to the spotlight now. Got to be something right here. Uh oh. While I was mayor, I traveled all over the world. The one thing I did I enjoyed most, I want to do right now. Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee, home of the greatest entertainer in the world, Elvis Presley. Yeah. Yeah. I think that explains how you're mayor from 78 to 94. <laughs> it's so great to have you here, and, and your book, you sent me a copy when it came out. Before. All of you that but around during that period of time, you know that respect for law is exactly what began to break down the society and the fabric of a great country in a lot of ways with what's happening in cities, Seattle, and many other places around the country, Chicago, people are being killed in great numbers today because of a lack of respect for law. And Elvis Presley, if he were alive today, he would be shot from the rooftop about stop the foolishness this is the greatest country in the world. Like it and respect it and live it. Elvis had, Elvis had such a uh, connection for the under uh, underprivileged. For, for, and it's really not until you go, it's, it's difficult to separate that part away from the king of rock and roll. Uh, until when you're here, when you're seeing, when you're in Graceland, you're seeing all the things that money can buy. But it's really not until you're standing in that room in Tupelo, in that birthplace, that you understand a, maybe a little bit of the poverty that he was born into, that you were born into. The exactly. era, that era in Mississippi, which is still one of the states in the Union that, that are the lowest on the scale of employment and and helping people. It's still that way, but somehow he found a way, somehow you found a way. And it was a vision and a drive that you both had separately to do better. And I think we've lost that in some ways today. Well, I, I think Elvis would like to say to people today, a younger generation, you're copping out if you think you do not have an opportunity in America. You're copping out if you want to stand around all the time and wait for a handout and not a hand up. You're copping out if you don't believe you have an opportunity because of the color of your skin, or place you live, of your religion, or what have you. All you have to do is what everybody else does that succeeds. Buckle up, step up, do what you can be best, and be accountable for the environment you live in. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them had to be. And I was in a more suit than 
The polyester. Who goes by polyester? <laughs> polyester. Yeah. Well, that suit cost me 28 bucks. <laughs> Anyhow, I had to wear the suit because I was a salesman. So he said, Look, what are you doing? I said, I'm working. He said, Stop by the house. Okay, I'll stop by the house. So I got there. Meet me out back. Well, everybody was in the backyard, and he had bought a pickup load of fireworks. <laughs> and he had a dozen garbage cans in his house. And I said, What is this for? He said, We're going to do battle. <laughs> and do battle we did. We started firing fireworks at each other. And I said, I'm a grown man. I have kids at home. <laughs> So that was Bill Morse sharing his stories of his friendship with Elvis Presley. And that intro, that intro was great. 
Thanks for watching this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. Don't double dribble, subscribe. Stay updated with every new Elvis episode that I upload each Tuesday. Special videos here and there. Plus, when you're in Memphis, join me at the Tiger Man Karate Dojo and Museum at 3217 Lucible Road, the newest attraction to Elvis that you'll enjoy if you're an Elvis fan. Till next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.